My next guest is going to be back in action at UFC Fight Night on September 18th. It's Gustavo Lopez back here on the program. Gustavo, how are you, man? Doing amazing, man. Blessed right now. Good to hear. Before we get into your fight, man, uh, just how cool was it seeing your good friend Misha Tate back in the octagon get a huge win, a finish over Marion Renault in her return fight? It was great, man. I actually went to the fights to go watch her, support her there, and she looked great. Everything she's been doing, just it's nice to see her like just in a better mindset and a better state of mind and just going out there and just performing. And I saw you guys went to the, was it the Raiders game in, and Seattle was playing? Like, how, how was that whole thing? I saw that on uh, Instagram. Yes, we went to the, to the Raiders' uh, first home stadium game uh, against the Seahawks. Seattle lost, but, you know, it's good, to, it's good to see that the games are going back on there. I just heard they're going to start putting, requesting uh, vaccination cards to show up to the game. So we'll see what happens with all that. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. We'll see how they're going to even monitor that or do all that. It's it's going to be a little nuts, but uh, you must be happy to have football back. I know you're a big Seahawks fan. 100%. Yeah, uh, we'll talk a little Seahawks later. Uh, let's talk uh, about your last fight, man. I know it wasn't the result you wanted, but you went out in your shield, and I think that's one of the reasons people like watching you fight. And the you know the guy you lost to in Adrian Yanez, he's a guy that you know is continuing to win. So what did you take away the most from that fight that you're bringing into this one? Uh my, I was waiting on him to come more forward during that fight. Kind of just sat back and kind of just waited on me, and we had to make sure like we we didn't we feign but we didn't go. We we kept feigning he no bite, and then by the time that by the time we kept going kept coming forward, it was just too late. I was behind the cars, came too forward, got caught with that cross, and so just didn't work out. We just we just gotta keep going forward, man. Uh, I think. One thing I kind of learned from is I got to I gotta faint more and I got to actually, you know, if I don't get no people reacting to it, I just got to go for it. What was the reception after that fight? Again, I know it wasn't uh, the result you wanted, but it seemed like you won even more fans from that performance because, you, like I said, you guys went at it. You, it was one of the best fights we, we've seen this year. Uh, I got, you know, just a lot of positive feedback, man. They really haven't got any negative feedback on any of my fights. I go out there, like you said, I fight, I fight on my... I just go out there and perform. I just don't hold anything back. And I'm just kind of looking forward for this next one. Uh, not really sure how to pronounce this guy's name. but I don't either. Or- I, was, I was hoping you'd take the leader. I think, I think it's Alatang is how you say his last name. Uh, Haley Alatang or Haley, I, I forget. But uh, we know I- he's a tough guy, a really, really good uh, opponent here. Uh, uh, how do you feel like you match up against him? I feel I match up great, man. He's uh, another wrestler. So it's going to be fun to see what happens between all that because uh, usually I'm going against strikers and try to go to the wrestling striking game. So it's going to be fun to have two wrestlers go out there and kind of have a wrestle off or go out there and bang and just see who's better at wrestling. So we'll see. Training a great camp over at uh, Extreme. Uh, who, who are you getting to work with the most this camp? Who have been some of your main training partners? My main training partner right now is uh, Cody Stamen. We brought... Uh, He's kind of just waiting for his next fight, so he's out here helping everybody out. And I feel like Stamen's one of the best wrestlers out there right now. So it's, you know, super tough rounds, but it's only making me better. You feel like the, the training camp could be even tougher than the opponent. Like, Stamen's one of the best, like you said, in terms of the wrestling in that division especially. Exactly. So that's what I was thinking. Uh, being, a, being able to have Stamen in, uh, in, my, in my camp and having that high level of wrestling – they're tough rounds, man. They really are. And it's going to just, you know, hopefully go in there, go to the fight and just kind of run over this guy because, you know, Stamen is just another another level of competition over here. Any cross-training this camp or just keeping it at home base? Keeping it at home. Yeah. Uh, got, I, I train at Extreme Couture. I go over to 10 Plan and do my jiu-jitsu and then do my strength conditioning at the UFC PI. So... It's been the same going on for the past two camps, and I absolutely love it. My team's amazing. Truly blessed to have this amazing team that kind of just all get together and be able to make me even better. So just going out there, I'm going to perform. What's that like, too, where you have so many new faces coming through, uh, you know, your gym and, and everything else? It must be kind of neat because, I don't know, every now and then I'm sure you get a different round or different, you know, fighter coming in and maybe getting to work with them. On occasion, yes. Usually when the new guys come in, I kind of just, of, uh, pretty much avoid them. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, I can understand that, yeah. Yeah, like, there's no reason for me to go with some, unless, like, now that I'm in camp, there's no reason for me to go with some random person that I don't know. Yeah. Last thing I 
need is uh, you know some kind of injury or somebody gets cut Good or point. something happens and now you know and then we you know there's no fight so I'd rather we, I, I got my guys we train at a certain time we get our work in we get in there get out and then go home I really don't try to mess around or play around with anything else here's some uh, cooking in the background is uh, how, how's the weight cut going ahead of this fight weight cuts is actually going above you know way better than expected I'm walking around low 50s, 51, 49, and, I'm, and we're still four or five weeks out. So usually I don't get that low until the week of the fight. So it's excited. It's nice to be able to kind of just not stress over the weight anymore and just kind of just maintain all my, you know, a good good state of mind and go out there and enjoy myself. Any particular reason for that? Do you feel like it? Because I know it's, you're getting a bit of a heat wave, even more so, I think, in Vegas. Uh, I know everyone is uh, this side of the world. Um, or is it just like eating better? What, what, do you, what do you attribute the lighter weight to? The lighter weight, is, uh, it's uh, Nicole, the nutritionist in, uh, at the UFCPI. They've been getting on this strict regimen of making sure I eat super healthy. Uh, late at night, usually I'm one of those guys that love to just you know eat chips and enjoy myself a little bit too much. So I kind of just, you know, told him like, hey, just let me know what I need to eat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I eat, I eat what they give me, and I just, I feel better. So it just, it's taking all the guessing out of it. You know, a lot of people, a lot of fighters out here, they're just, we don't really know what's good. We think things are good because someone said it, but we don't really know. So being able to work with the UFCPI and everybody over there, like Nicole, that, like that's her job, like that's what she went to school for. She understands what things we need in our body to feel better. So I'm just trusting them, and I've been feeling amazing. What, what is your late-night snack now if it's not chips? I'm curious. I want to know because I, I like I like eating at night too, so I want to know uh, what, what are you eating. It's not, man. It's uh, We eat a lot. Like, for a while, we were doing a lot of uh, salads and stuff late at night, big salads. Now we're getting things more condensed, a lot of vegetables, a lot of just uh, lean meats, and just eating it clean and just not messing around. Love it. Uh, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, we're going to have a coach, Jimmy Gifford, Eddie Baraka, and then coach Casey uh, from 10 Planet. So. How do you see this fight playing out? I know you feel like you're going to get your hand raised, but how do you envision the fight playing out? I feel me just pressuring this guy. I feel I'm going to take this guy down and just rock him with some heavy hits, man. I feel, I'm feeling stronger than ever. Bo been, uh, been my main strength, uh, strength conditioning coach for this camp, and just I've been feeling so much power, so much more just stronger. When I'm hitting, I'm hitting harder. So we're going to go on there. We're going to bang it out, and I'm just going to dominate this fight. All goes well. Uh, you're healthy and everything. You're looking to get one more in this year? Is that the plan? Uh, yeah, definitely. If everything goes well, I'll hopefully get to fight again uh, December. Be nice. Definitely one more before the year. Hopefully, you know, maybe get a short notice call. We'll get, get to bang it out one more time. It'll be nice. Yeah, well, you're in a good spot. If there is a short notice, a lot of the fights are taking place at the apex these days, which is uh, which is really good. Uh, do you go home for the holidays dur- during uh, during Christmas? Like, do you go back to Washington State, or do you just stay in Vegas year round? Uh, on occasion, uh, lately yeah. we kind of just st- I stayed here in Wash in Vegas because it's just you know the whole pandemic thing. You know, I wasn't sure what was going on over there, but who knows? I uh, definitely would like to go back home after this fight. Go see family, be nice, and maybe take a little trip somewhere. But who knows? This yeah. world is just too crazy right now. We're learning. We're living day by day, right? Every, everything sort of changes. Uh, I gotta ask, as a Canadian and someone who lives close by, are are you getting into the Seattle crack and the new NHL team? Does that mean anything to you? Are you excited about that, or you don't even care? I no idea what that is. So that's the new NHL team in Seattle. Uh, they just they just drafted the team uh, this year, and so they'll be. I mean, you'll see them in Vegas because you got the hockey team right there. So they'll be they'll be coming in. But Seattle's got a professional hockey team. It's a big deal around these parts, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, I know. I've got. I think Michael Chiesa. I think he's converted. I think he's going to be an actual fan. So uh, I was just seeing what everyone else is is doing hockey as well. Is pretty fun, man. Yeah, I went one uh night's game and i absolutely loved it so yeah well the atmosphere there is just unreal anyway it's like it's like going to a playoff game it's just it's it's awesome so that that's cool um what what else is downtime looking like during camp right now what are you uh what have you been up to watching any tv shows or anything like that no absolutely not no no tv just books or what, what are you doing so my schedule goes wake up train all day i'll do my recovery at night come home take a nice bath and go to bed i literally have not been doing anything on the weekends. I rest, let the body rest more, and just kind of get ready for the week. 
there's been, uh, you know, we're taking this fight even more serious than we have been. Everything being a super tough fight, but this camp, you know, we just don't, I don't want to know, no what ifs in this yeah. fight. You want to cover every corner, as they say, right? You know, making sure yeah. that everything's, every, everything's A-OK. But I'll tell you what, you made time for this interview and I appreciate it, Gustavo. Always good talking to you, man. Just remind people where they can get a hold of you on social media. And if you've got any sponsors or shout outs, I'll give you the last word. Uh, if you want to follow me, uh, it's going to be Gustavo Eleven Lopez on all platforms, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that. Um, just thank you for you and everybody else that's going out there and supporting me, man. I really just appreciate the love. I'm just going to go out there and perform like always.